Hamilton came out last week on Disney Plus, and I'm fine. I've already watched it. I also already watched it at the West End just before shit hit the fan globally after failing for two years to get lottery tickets. So I can confirm that Hamilton, especially the recorded version on Disney Plus, is really good and you should definitely give it a go. I heartily recommend it. Despite my obviously ominous title to this video, there is a genuine concern, however, that Disney Plus may seek to monopolize a musical market no one else has. Hell. They've probably already done it. Disney's back catalogue is musical as fuck. Remember Happy Feet? Everyone knows this, all their classic films, their renaissance ones, even the likes of Frozen, while not being shock full of classics, sell themselves on belting one out to children everywhere. I, I, I put a, n a note in this that says, please rewrite this line for the for the live of God, I can't even get my notes right. But then you got your High School Musicals, your new High School Musical, the musical, the show of the world, the planet of the apes. They've got Into the Woods. They've got Sound of Music for some reason. Was it a Fox property? I'm not gonna look into it. They have a Disney Plus exclusive show about musicals. And now they've got Hamilton. Undoubtedly the biggest hit musical of the 2010s is still selling out theaters internationally until recently. Hamilton is a ridiculous get for Disney Plus. This old professional recording of the original cast performing was supposed to come out October 2021, which was already ridiculous. Musicals take ages to release the original cast recordings because they know how much more money they'll make from years of theatre tickets. And they will have paid a lot of money for them Lin-Manuel Miranda rights. Get it? Miranda rights? <laughs> okay, maybe now is not the time. What's interesting there then is them announcing a Q3 2021 release so early, which has to be a message to the shareholders and potential sellers saying like, We're the new platform for your musicals, throw your cats out the windows like a Disney balls. Uh -huh. And then, of course, the thing hit, and oh lord, R.I.P. theatre. Theatre industry is at so much risk. Look at all these screenshots of articles about it. With no ticket sales happening, it's no wonder they managed to pull the Hamilton release closer because the opportunity cost has... shat itself. This is of course wildly different from Disney's typical musical content. It's a filmed theatre production being marketed as a film. This is going to be an experiment, testing the international appetite for streaming musicals. And if it goes well, which it probably might, you're going to start seeing a musical war, which sounds hilarious. However, I would imagine they're going to start getting more theatre recordings of all sorts, especially since this is a really easy way to get new content without needing to produce it during pandemic fun time. And it's selling to an engaged demographic already with a taste for musicals. Also, with the catastrophic failure of other studios to replicate the potential success musicals can have, they have significantly less competition and a head start. Also, RIP theatre, these productions need the money and Disney is in a buyer's market. One thing more, one more thing, one day more. Theatre has had a problem of being limited to people who can afford it, which divides its audience by class and ability to travel. It used to be an art form for the people and has now become a rich elitist thing. It also risks putting it behind another paywall, but this paywall is much lower so if anything, musical theatre has never been more accessible. So many people who couldn't watch Hamilton before are able to now. You can see how much Hamilton's been talked about on the internet in the past week, though, how popular it's gotten again. Monopolies of any kind, yeah, especially you, should be cause for concern. And that's the thing, though. Doesn't Disney have enough already?